This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Hey guys and welcome to All About Linux. Today, I will be testing and comparing the CPU, GPU and RAM performance of two distros, the newly released Solus 4.2 and MX Linux 19.3. My test PC is sporting an AMD Ryzen 5 2400G CPU and AMD Radeon RX 590 with 8GB of GDDR5 VRAM and 16GB of DDR4 2666MHz RAM. And I will be running the Budgie desktop for Solus and the KDE desktop for MX Linux. Let's get into this test. Starting with a game of War Thunder. Solus 4.2 performed amazingly with an average frame rate of 94.7 fps, 1% lows at 59.3 fps, and 0.1% lows at 29.5 fps. Unfortunately, no matter what I did, I could not get the sound to work for this game. This is the first time I have seen this issue with any distro, and it's something you should take note of if you are planning to play War Thunder on Solus. Anyway, this performance was achieved with graphics settings set to 1080p and a high preset. However, MX Linux 19.3 performed slightly worse with around 70 to 80 FPS. Overall, I think Solus 4.2 wins this round. Next, I proceeded to play a round of Demolition in CSGO. The graphics settings were set to 1440p auto. On Solus, I got around 50 to 60 FPS when running around the map. And in one particular scenario during combat, frame rates dropped to around 35 FPS. While on MX Linux, I got an average frame rate of 66.5 FPS, 1% lows at 30.1 FPS, and 0.1% lows at 20.6 FPS. However, the map that I played on in MX Linux, which is Monastery, was definitely more demanding than that of Solus, with a significantly larger number of buildings and objects. This caused me to get around 40 FPS at certain parts of match with a noticeable number of frame drops. Despite that, I think MX Linux wins this round, as it attained higher frame rates though the odds were against it. Before I continue with the CPU and RAM tests, I would like to talk about today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Surfshark VPN protects your privacy and security online and blocks geo-restricted content like certain Netflix libraries with features that is ultra-fast 3200 plus servers in 65 countries, industry-leading encryption, ad blocker, and many others. It works on an unlimited number of devices, from Android and iOS to Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, to Chrome and Firefox extensions. Best of all, you can get Surfshark VPN today for the first 3 months free, then 81% off for just $2.49 per month. Do head over to surfshark.deal slash allboardliners and get Surfshark today. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. By the way, if you like this video, do consider hitting the subscribe and like button. And back to the video. Next, I did some tests to find out about the RAM usage for each distro. When idle, MX Linux used slightly less RAM than Solus, which might be because of Solus's budgie desktop which is more demanding than the KDE desktop. When opening the homepage of Firefox, the results were still the same for both distros, with each of their RAM usage increasing by 0.3GB. Playing one of my latest videos, both distros again see their RAM usage increase by the same amount to 3.0GB for MX Linux and 3.2GB for Solus. Do note that all these RAM usages include that of the screen recorder, simple screen recorder. Therefore, MX Linux wins this round. Lastly, I ran a Gitmesh 5 test to test the CPU performance for each of the distros. Both distros perform pretty evenly, with Solus taking the lead for the single core test and MX Linux taking the lead for the multi core test. So, in conclusion, I think MX Linux 19.3 wins this test. MX Linux 19.3 won the CSGO and RAM usage test, while Solus 4.2 won only the War Thunder test, and the two distros were tied in the Geekbench 5 test. Do let me know if you have any suggestions for things to test in future videos. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.